The Humane Society says something like this only happens once or twice a year. They've recovered pets from as far as Seattle. That is so gratifying. That's really what we want to do. That's what we live for. Nebraska Humane Society spokeswoman Pam Weiss says Tantrum was found just a few blocks from the Humane Society. Fortunately, she had a microchip. After two years, what's going to get her home is the microchip because it's still with her and it's embedded in her and you scan it and then she gets home. The 10 year old pit bull lab mix was found last month with apparent bite marks. Contrary to her name, we says Tantrum has been calm through her several weeks of recovery. She's pretty mellow. Um, she she appears to want to greet other dogs. She's not shown any aggression toward other dogs through fences when she's met them nose to nose. The dog's owner was shocked when he found out Tantrum was still alive in Omaha, no less. He was dumbfounded that she was here. He said he never thought that he would see her again and after, especially after two and a half years, that he couldn't believe that she was in Nebraska. We says stories like these don't always have happy endings. People who lose pets and never, never find them, never get closure. And these guys are, parts of, are, are, are members of the family. They live with us, we feed them, they depend on us for food and water. The dog's owner, Shane Wallace of La Cruces, is going to pick up Tantrum in El Paso. She flies out of Omaha Friday morning. Joe Cadat, 3 News Now. Warmer and sunnier